Hi, Marlon Sanders here. How do you open doors to bigger things, to bigger opportunities? I'm not talking theory here. Uh, I'll give you an example. One time I had a door open that led to 120 seminars around the world and an awful lot of money. And I just had a fantastic, incredible door open. Let me just tell you about that door, and then I'll tell you how you open the doors. So I met a gentleman in the Philippines who's a fantastic super affiliate and a serial entrepreneur. His name is Ian Del Carmen. And I promoted recently, now notice this, I promoted recently his product, uh, that is an app software that lets you create apps for the iPhone and smartphones. And this is something I'm just learning about. I don't use, I, I just really got an iPhone, so I'm just really just now using apps. I had an Adro Android before, but for me it was really freaking hard to use, and I didn't use it. So, anyway, point is, I just talked on Ian today on Skype, and he, t he gave me the opportunity to, uh, he's coming out with a new app that like pushes a newsletter delivery and different things. So anyway, I'm going to send him over my newsletters and he's going to load these up into his app. And it's a great opportunity. It's a brand new cutting edge thing. It's exciting. It's cool. It's really neat. And I'm looking forward to it. My point is this. It's a door that opened. How did that door open? That door opened. Now, I already knew in, and maybe without this, the door would open. I don't know. I do know I sold this app software best I could to my list, and now another door is open. Originally, when I opened the door that allowed me to speak around the world, that was with my friend Jonathan Mizell, and I was a copywriter for a company, for a guy who was a guru at the time, and... I got that company to sell my friend's products. So then when he had a speaking opportunity, it's kind of like he reciprocated. And I didn't expect it. I didn't ask for it. My point of this is you give to get. And what I've noticed is superpower networkers, they give first. And this is what no one gets. Everybody wants somebody else to promote their product. Everybody else wants somebody to do something for them. I, but I'm just telling you straight up, very, 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 very seldom do you see someone who comes to you and gives first. And if they do give first, it's like you can tell that there are immediate psychological strings attached and expectations. Like, they've barely given to you before they send you over the JV request. And it's like, now they got you on the hook and you're obligated, by golly. And that's... This is just my experience. This is not the attitude. This is not the attitude of super power, super connected, hyper performing networkers. It's just that that there's just it's called a obligation vacuum is what my old client Walter Haley used to call it. And he used to do this all the time. It made him about six hundred million dollars. And it's that when you do something for somebody else, and you really do it with the intention of helping them, it creates an obligation vacuum. It's super powerful. It's maybe one of the most powerful things that you can do in business. Because it's just, I don't know, it's one of these things where people just don't do it. Can you believe it? It's so simple. People, honest to goodness, just don't do it. I've noticed this, like in dealing with Yannick Silver, for example. My friend Yannick would do things for you and be really nice, with no strings attached. Same thing with Russell Brunson. Russell Brunson is one of the nice guys in the world. Russell has done so much for me, given me access to products, sent me stuff, done stuff for me, and never one time hit me up with the expectation of a JV in return because, by golly, he gave me something. It's just that, and I'm not saying you shouldn't hit people up for JVs. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that it's your attitude. It's your attitude about doing this. And if you just learn to be a giver, you know, there's a book somewhere I think called Go-Giver, The Go-Giver. There's a Go-Getter, but I think it's also one called The Go-Giver. I, I really believe in this. I, it's, it's, it, there's, actually, there's actually a lot of evidence and proof behind what I'm saying. There's a guy named Thomas Stanley who wrote a book called Networking with the Affluent. It's one of my favorite books. It's not an easy read. It's a hard read because it's very detailed. 
But he chronicled how the top financial services salespeople in the entire world, and I'm talking like the top 5%, use seven giving methods that other salespeople don't use. And it's an incredible, insightful, amazing book, although uh, not, not the easiest read in the world because it's highly detailed. I personally got a lot out of reading it. So anyway, this is your tip for the day is be a go-giver. Give to people, promote them, get them exposure. I mean, you say, Marlon, I don't have a list. I can't say anything. I ain't got a list yet. Yeah, but maybe you got two people on your list. Or you got one friend you can tell about somebody else's product. You're in a forum and you can add the person's product to the SIG line. Or you can do a product review and send it over to the person and say, hey, here's a product review. You can just go use this. No strings attached. Or you do a video review for their product. Anyone can do a video review that's an intelligent, that's insightful, that's honest. And let the product owner link to it. No affiliate link, no strings attached, no emotional something, oh, now you owe me. But just this attitude of being a go-giver, I just can't possibly tell you what it's done for me. And I just see in real life, very few people do this. You will not see a lot of people do this. You just won't. So anyway, Marlon Sanders, King of Step-by-Step -Step Internet Marketing. If you want more information, more ideas, more good stuff, go to marlonsnews.com, M-A-R-L-O-N-S, N-E-W-S dot com and get on my email list. Get my newsletters that I do, my tips and my information. Get on my Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Marlon Sanders, uh, Instagram.com forward slash Marlon Sand, and Facebook.com forward slash Marlon Sanders News. It's Marlon Sanders. Till the next time, I wish you the best of success.